Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be covering one of my favourite species, I think, of all time. And of course, this is the acorn ant, also known, scientifically, as Temnophorax. And, no matter where you live, you'll probably know that this is one of the smallest species, well, just of all time. And the reason that they are named the acorn ant is because colonies of those species that are fully grown can live in a single acorn. Which is completely, like, absurd. As, well, as you'll see later, a mesobarbarous queen is almost as big as every worker in this entire colony. But before that, I'll quickly give them some ant sugar as they just came back from the Great Ant Exhibition and must be extremely thirsty and quite hungry. And immediately after the sugar was in, quite a few workers went to swarm it and started drinking. Even though these ants are absolutely tiny, with a macro lens you can get some pretty good shots. And although my macro lens isn't the best, I was still able to get their eyes and some other key details. Of course, as you already know, I got these guys from the Great Ant Exhibition and I got them from Ants R Us. Which is well where I got my first ever colony from like almost 5 years ago now. And here you can see just the absolute tiny size of these workers, and well even the queen, as I'm pretty sure the queen in this colony doesn't even compare to the size of the head of this messer. Which is just absolutely crazy. So when I first got in this colony, I knew I needed to give them some sort of outworld, as I couldn't keep them in a test tube like this for a long term. So I gave them this Wakushi ant pod which should work at least until December or well, when they come out of hibernation. When I bought this queen, I obviously went for a bigger colony so it would be easier to found and when I could move them, they would have, well, less likelihood of dying from stress or just from lack of workers. And although it may be very hard to tell, in this shot the queen is actually on top of the brood and she's only just a little bit bigger than the rest of her workers. And so what I did is I connected the test tube to the outworld and used some blue tack so no workers could slip through the gaps as again these are tiny ants. And then I used a tin foil cover from one of my previous colonies and gave them some darkness. And then a little bit more sugar. And I gotta say these ants are tiny as this drop of sugar that they're eating feeds their entire colony. But if I gave this to my campanotus Fedchenkoi, this would go in the gas of a single worker. A single worker, that's crazy. And of course I decided to give them some protein as they're actually in a setup now. And well, about 15 minutes later, almost half the colony was outside eating this mealworm. So they must have been pretty hungry. Okay guys, so as you can see here, this is a 3D printer. And currently, it's 3D printing a lid for the terrarium I built in a previous video. So hopefully in the near future, but maybe after hibernation, I'll be able to move these guys into their new terrarium. Which will have an acorn glued to the side. So I'll be able to see into the colony in a natural way. Okay, so the video has just progressed about two months and I've got some acorns. And I even found this weird grub, which after a little bit of research, I found out is actually a weevil grub. And they like to eat acorns from the inside out and then when they fall, they go into the soil and do their weird grub things. But I didn't know that when I put it in this container, so yeah. But don't worry, the grub wasn't in there for long, as soon it got transferred to the dinner plate of the acorn ants. But before its demise, I was actually able to see the grub moving kind of like a caterpillar, worming its way around the piece of paper. And as you can see from the two different acorns, one of them is completely black and kind of been eaten, and the other one is white and hasn't been eaten. And here you can see a perfect shot of the queen, and now I fed them some grubs as well. And if you look real carefully, you can see behind her some larvae and some even fresh eggs that she's just laid. 
and I know I know that our world has become quite a bit of a mess so I'll clean that in a bit but before I do that I think it's time to show you the tour area and I'm sorry about the audio as there is currently like a massive storm outside right now so you might hear that and as you can see the terrarium has three halves of an acorn hot glue to the side and I can put a red cover over it so they're in complete darkness but I'll still be able to see in but that's all for now don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one and thanks for watching